There are now over 800 posts under hashtag GoHerpingReview on Instagram because I did a few videos rating your enclosures and apparently a lot of people want ratings from me. I don't... okay, well, we're back to rating more. Might as well get started. I can't do them all, but let's see what we can do. So starting off, we've got not only an enclosure, but a whole reptile room, which brings me to another video I want to do, which is rating your entire reptile rooms or animal rooms or whatever. So if you want, hashtag go herping reptile room because reptile room review is too long. Just go herping reptile room on Instagram and I'll check those out for a future video. This is pretty cool. You got tons of live plants. It looks quite cozy in here. A pink wall, which is kind of weird. I'm not a big fan of the wallpapers and stuff, but the room itself is pretty neat and there are a lot of enclosures. This one, I don't know what this is for, but it looks nice. It looks custom made as well. And there seems to be a lot of custom made enclosures. So I think we'll be able to find some creative ones. I like it though. A lot of people are like, well, when do we get to rate and scrutinize your enclosures in your room? Well, if you didn't know, I'm in between housing right now. So ironically, my animals are in temporary tub setups and stuff, but that'll be some videos as well, where I'm going to have you deep dive into my future reptile room and enclosures and you can critique away. Next up, uh, we've got a turtle tub. If I recognize the name correctly, he's actually bought a few animals from me. I like this. It's got the live plants. I assume those plants are edible. They also add for good cover if the turtle wants to cool down or be in the shade or feel a little more comfortable. Is that a yellow bud cider, I think? It's a little bit hard to tell. It's got the, the basking rock up here and the lighting really brings this together. I'm guessing it's not always lit like this, but it, this was shot with some cool lighting, which definitely makes it look a lot cooler. So I'll give this one four stars. I forgot to rate the first one. Also four stars, because it was a nice room. But it is quite peaceful. You, I could see just sitting by that and hanging out. Next up, this person included measurements. I don't care about the measurements. I'm just here to see if an enclosure is pretty or ugly. No other, no questions asked. This one, kind of down the middle. It's, it's, it's got everything. Got to smack with a three stars, because I'm not like, wow. But I'm also not like you, so. This one actually has a, a dome front. It's pretty rare to see these, I guess, in people's homes. I usually see them like museum style enclosures or zoos or whatever, but I think it, it makes it look really cool. It makes it look a lot more expensive and well put together. Uh, when the actual enclosure, nothing wrong with it, but it's actually not as like crazy and cool looking, I feel, if it were just in a square enclosure. I feel like I'd give it like three stars if it was in a rectangle, but since it's in a semicircle, it gets 3.1. <laughs> this one, I feel like this is, it looks like literally just fake turf, which people apparently use sometimes. I don't get how you clean it. It seems like, like if they poop on it or if food spills on it or anything, even though it's waterproof, how do you clean it? Sounds like such a pain. Assuming it is turf, I don't actually know. It's all right. <laughs> this one says, forgive me for the super suspicious profile, but I'm keeping the snake hidden from my mom. So the privacy is necessary. I'm a little surprised there haven't been more of these. Very brave of you to post on Instagram for me to post in front of a lot of people. But I guess if you're hiding the animal from your mom who doesn't like snakes, they're probably not going to be watching a video about snakes. So I'm, I'm sure you're good. I mean, yeah, the enclosure looks fine. It's got everything that ball python needs as far as I know. But why are you using the Sterilite trademarked Clearview registered latch enclosure? See, it says Clearview right there. I feel like you need like a more opaque tub if you're gonna be hiding it, because that means the light could still hit in, but it's like almost like censored or blurred. Like if you see a, a semi-opaque tub in someone's closet, you're like, oh, it's, it's a storage tub. But if you see this with like plants in it, it's a little more suspicious. So I feel like you should use something more opaque, but uh, I've used these tubs. I mean, they work fine. You got your ventilation. <laughs> I just think it's funny that you posted it and it looks fine. So I give you four stars for being sneaky, but I mean, the enclosures, I'll be honest, it's kind of boring. It's just dirt and fake plants. Three stars. This one, we've got a creation video. It started as a very ugly TV set. This looks like a lot of work. It's not something I feel like doing. <laughs> got, I guess it's gonna turn white. Yeah, the entire thing is stained. I feel like you could just get a cheap white enclosure. Not enclosure, but a cheap white like thing to turn into an enclosure, but you literally turn the, turned it from wood to white. I mean, it looks great. It looks very well done. It just, I'm just so lazy. I wouldn't be able to do this. I'm not a big fan of the leaf vinyl or whatever that is on the back, but overall it looks well put together and 
We'll see the completed thing. Yeah. People love using the soft beds for bearded dragons. Do they actually like them? They seem like hard to clean as well, but I guess you could just throw it in the wash. It looks like everything it needs. And um, let's go back to the main image. It looks nothing like what it started as. Literally all I can tell is the shape. Completely different than that. I think that's cool. You've got some skills that I would not be able to do. Um, if I just saw this enclosure, just this, I'd be like, oh, that's kind of cool. But seeing the whole creation process makes it cooler. So four stars for the effort. These, however, hmm, Christy enclosure is fine, but this Carpa Python setup is it's a little scuffed with the, you've just got a PVC basking spot. <laughs> and the sand bow, it just looks kind of, eh. I mean, the substrate's so shallow and the skull's upside down and it's just kind of thrown together. Eh, two stars. I mean, what can I say? There's not much to say about them. I find them just kind of boring and thrown together, so. This one looks fine. It's the redeeming one of the three, but I, if I were you, I'd redo them all because I don't like them. This one, however, the images are terrible. What did you shoot these images with? It looks like you just pulled your camera out of the bathtub and was like, all right, time to take the pictures. It's a six by five by two and a half foot corn snake enclosure. It's a bit hard to tell the details, but that is quite nice. It looks like they're like the branches go all the way up so the corn can easily climb all the way from this top hide all the way down to the bottom. That is some true temperature gradient there. And I'm sure, I'm guessing you can keep the bottom a bit more humid so it's like, bit more of a humidity gradient. I like this. It's quite creative. The camera's quality is so bad. So it's hard to see the details. I also can't see the corn snake, but I like it. This one also quite creative. If I say so myself, it's made from an outdoor shed. I've seen this shed at Home Depot because I was shopping for them. I didn't buy them, but one, they're not the cheapest thing ever. But two, I've literally never thought of it. I've never seen one of these. I'm, I'm sure you're not the very first person to do it, but it's plastic, so it's not gonna rot or anything. It's literally outdoor grade. It's very creative in my opinion. Got the water dragon here, looking quite happy, a nice big tub on the bottom. I like this. I'm giving it four stars because it's fake plants, I think. But if these were live plants with like even some potted plants or something, I think that would be really nice. I'd like to see the whole thing further back. And I'd be curious to see like how it closes and everything, because this is cool. I'm a fan and it's a good idea. I could see doing that in the future for certain animals. Me likey. This one, we've got another full reptile room. So remember, go post hashtag go herping reptile room on Instagram. This one, I mean, compared to the other one, it's, it's a little more boring, might I say, but we've got some fish. Are those fish? I can't tell what those are. I mean, it's a little more random. It looks like it's in your dining room, kitchen, maybe. I assume that's the living room back there and then got the enclosures. It's not It's not bad. It's just too messy for me. Like I would like to hide all that, cover that, like just clean it up, really make sure all you see is the enclosures. Going into the enclosure review, if, or the reptile room review, if I gave the other one four, I'd have to give this one like two. Mm -hmm. But I mean, sure it works. It looks spacious, but that's, that's my review. That's my rating. This one, I always like seeing the creative turtle setups on how they do the basking and such. Water's pretty murky, but I mean, they're turtles. They can take very dirty water. Personally, I like trying to keep the water like crystal clear for the turtles because it's not terribly hard to change if you have a pump or something. The turtle looks quite happy in its cage. It gets a nice view out the window protected from the cat and vice versa, cat protected from the turtle. It's nice, I would just change the water more. The amount of water seems small for this size turtle. I would definitely give something like twice as big probably, but it's a lot better than a lot of other stuff. So three stars right down the middle once again. If it were just this, I'd give it one star, but I, I like this, so it bumps it up a couple. This one is pretty cool as well. Turns out I, I didn't realize how often I say pretty cool, but Okay, it's very cool. How about that? I'll say that. Um, it's a completely converted... I don't know what would have gone there. A TV? China, maybe? Glassware? I don't know what this was used for. Personally, if I put this in my house, it would be hideous because this brown, like, antique sort of look would look terrible with my, my furniture and stuff. But if it fits your house, like, it looks like the house is kind of that older style. You've got, like, the wooden door, that wood over there, so it looks like it fits in quite nicely. It's cool. So I'll give it four because it looks very cool. I can't tell if it's one enclosure or three. I assume it's one. I think. Looks well done. I'd like to see more close-ups and stuff. I like the other one more though, the white one, just because of the styling. Um, other thing is it's, it's probably super heavy and a massive pain to move. So not what I would do, but yeah. Uh, this one, it looks like it's the paint. It's, it looks like wet paint. I don't know what, is this plaster or something? Uh, lots of creative backgrounds today. What is it resembling? Like, what is this theme? Why are there like, is it 
Maybe it's styrofoam. I feel like they use scrap pieces of styrofoam and just paint it over them. So although I like the concept, I gotta hit it with a two star just because it doesn't look great to me. But that's just look wise. I mean, it's yeah, like there's that hide there. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. This one has two turtles and a 20 gallon, a male and a female. So this is like five gallon, what, 20? 10, seven gallons of water. Where are the turtles? Why can I not see them? This is lame. I mean, you got one basking spot, but the basking spot is wet as well. So they're not gonna dry off completely. The two lamps are there, but it's so shallow. I mean, I know it's shallow because of the spot, but you can you can secure this higher. If you're gonna use a 20, which I would use something bigger, you can like glue it to the side with some aquarium safe glue or something and fill it up more and then have the lamp suspended. Gotta give it one star. It feels bad, but I don't like it. Here's another custom one. This is just the day of creative enclosures. I like the white. It's pretty nice. Bridley, Bridley. Python. I don't know what that is. It, it's creative. I like how the hide is just like on this platform. It doesn't look very natural at all, obviously. It looks kind of like a play structure almost, which isn't good or bad, but I do appreciate how clean it is and how clean it looks. And still, fake plants, this would look way cooler with real plants if possible. So again, creative idea, nice size. Sizing wise and everything, I'd give it like four stars, but design wise, I'd give it like two because I'm not a big fan of the look, it's not what I would do, but if you like it, so be it. This one is my toad's enclosure. Hope you like, and we've got a toad back there. Thing about toads, the toad probably adores this. They love ceramic pots. They love dirt. They love... The toad, I mean, the toad probably gives it five stars. So very simply, I have to give it five stars. <laughs> Even if it is just, I mean, it's boring looking, but it looks like a toad paradise. So I commend it. This one is very themed. Yeah, you got, got some Buddhas, <laughs> an octopus, a very small pool donut. What are those called? <laughs> For a fat tail kick. It's so random. I'm feeling two stars. The, the number that just came to mind is two. It's just, just like, it's kind of cluttered and chaotic, but the, the gecko looks happy and healthy. It's got its water. People, these are made for food. I'm surprised it doesn't leak water because it's two pieces. It, it curves inward, so bugs can't jump out if you're feeding, but they can jump out. I don't like those, but wait, but two stars. We're hitting it with two stars. This one, I like fire skinks, nice and foggy. I'm not a big fan of foggers. The ones I've used break a lot. They just seem hard to breathe with even, uh, but I like the I like the green LEDs that I'm seeing here. I know that's not part of the enclosure. Maybe I'm just in such a mood to review some rooms. It looks like they got everything. They got the nice cage. They're well put together. I like this background as well. I'm guessing it's just styrofoam, but it looks like some nice real stone. And it looks cozy. It looks very tropical. And it looks like happy skinks. And then we've got this absolutely godforsaken water stain. Just... <sighs> it's for a baby wall python. I mean... Is this the only heating? Just that lamp? Ah, it's very small. Even for a baby, I do something bigger. I just cringe when I see such bad water stains. I know it doesn't matter. I know it doesn't affect the animal. Hmm. Two stars. I don't know. I me no likey. Me would throw me away and remakey. <laughs> We've got to start to finish on this bioactive. So they did the foaming, stuck some stuff in the back. Let's see how we go. Still foaming. Added dirt with silicone, I assume. Getting the plants in. Maybe we'll have the final thing. That's cool. It looks like what that's a fake plant back there, and then you kind of filled in with the real plants. You can see they use the different cups and stuff, the cork to put plants in. It looks good. It looks very complete and very comfy. I like the feel. I really like the look of tropical enclosures. This is something that you can easily I mean, easily make once you've like practiced with it and it's something you'll see a lot, but I still like it. I thought it was still worth seeing because I think it's cool to see the progression. A lot of people only have a picture of the completed thing. So this one I think is quite pretty. It's a it's a good look. Uh, it's a good feel. I'd like this to be in my room. The plants, I just the pinks look cool. The corn, it's very small, like a very small corn and a very big enclosure. So I'm sure it enjoys all that space. Tons of exploring area. And it's simple though, like it doesn't look hard to put together. I just feel like they used their resources well and were very clever with where they put stuff and how they put it. And it just, it looks like an art piece almost. So I'm a fan. For some reason, I just want to give this five stars, even though I think some of the other ones are cooler. This is just what I would really like in my house. So I approve, my stamp of approval. This one, we've got an outdoor box turtle enclosure. I'd love to do something like this with Harriet. I definitely have to put something over it for me to not feel paranoid that she's gonna like 
be taken by a hawk or something. I don't know. <laughs> Got a couple turts in here. It's very big. Again, this is probably simple to make. I feel like you don't need like carpentry skills to put this together, but it's also quite um, effective at the same time. Nice, big, wide, but shallow water so they don't drown because box turtles can't really swim. And uh, I mean, they can a little bit, but not in deep water probably. Then you got the plants in there. This is cool. Of course, there is some sort of fence there, so I'm sure that helps. Maybe the fence goes over, did they say? They didn't say, but this is something I'd like to do for um, Harry in the future, and I think this is a great example. I feel like there's still room for improvement though. I don't know, I'm trying to think what I would do different. I feel like I'd do like larger hiding areas, almost like a bigger cave sort of thing. Um, I don't know how deep the substrate goes, but I'm sure that they enjoy being able to dig and stuff. So they look quite happy. It's not exactly what I would do, but I like it. And this one, they said not mine, we found on Twitter. There's really not been that many horrid god awful enclosures <laughs> like this one. This is actually what my turtle Franklin, he was like in this before I got him. I, it was just a 20 with water. <laughs> Poor turtle is just begging to be released. I don't know where this is from, but this is overwhelmingly common for turtles that are not <laughs> from people in the community. So hey, this makes every other turtle enclosure look amazing because this is just kind of sad. Zero stars. But we can't end on a sad note. So what's this? We've got a custom 85 gallon enclosure for a one year old ball python. I like this. The chains look cool. I know normally it's gonna be closed most of the time, but it's just a nice look. It's like a little drawbridge entering it. The background, I don't like the color of the background, but it's nice and super just full ground space for him to explore and hide and check out. Lots of textures. This is cool. I'm trying to figure out, I guess this was just a, I don't know what would have been here before, but also you've got space to store things. Like you don't, all the reptile supplies is out of sight. So your eyes just go straight to it. I think this is very well done. It also looks heavy and a pain to move. I think just cause I'm moving so much, I just, it's always on my mind. Like how hard is this gonna be to move? He looks happy, he looks really good. And I'm a fan, I like the colors. I like even just the handles, everything looks nice on this. So I give it a 4.5 stars. And that is, I think we'll end it there with rating today's enclosures. Today was actually a day of more creative setups, more interesting setups, and really not too many bad ones. So that's a good sign. I'd love to do the, the room video, so feel free to post those. And if you'd like, I can do more of these, but I feel like the trio of rating your enclosures is a pretty good little combination. So I might take a little break from these and do some other stuff, but I enjoyed it. It's legitimately really fun. That'll be it for this video. You can check out the others just on my channel or whatever. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.